It is hard to imagine in summer what it takes to survive minus 55 in winter here, near Chersky in the Russian Arctic. But temperatures here are warming fast, twice to three times the global average. And as they do, the permafrost, or permanently frozen soil not far below ground, is thawing, causing massive soil erosion along the Arctic's shores and coastlines and releasing powerful greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. Nikita Zimov and his father Sergei have made it their life's work to raise the alarm over thawing permafrost. When I was a kid, temperature of permafrost, temperature of ground is ground on average was minus six centigrade. Now it's minus three and even warmer. And in the warm years it's going almost close to zero. And I think in the next few decades, two, three decades at most, I think majority of permafrost here in the Arctic will start to degrade. It's already driven a rush in mammoth tusk ivory as soil erosion reveals the permafrost's treasures. That's a big bone of some, leg bone of some uh, mammoth. Of a mammoth? Yeah. How do you know? The size. So only mammoths could have such bone. Woolly rhinoceros, it's a bit different. They're also big bones, but this one is big. That's quite a little part of one very big leg bone. But the permafrost also contains hundreds of billions of tons of carbon, which is slowly being released. Ah. That's a pure ice. 50% of the sediments is not carbon, it's ice. And ice is melting rapidly. Ice is mixing with these sediments and turning them into mud and all this slide down. Ice is causing ground depressions. And that's something that's why this permafrost is dangerous. Not only about carbon. Carbon, which is 40 meters below, who cares? It will thaw for millennia and millennia and millennia. Ice will ma make it melt much, much faster. To show you what the carbon consists of, we're inside a permafrost cave. They were used a lot for storage here in the Arctic, especially by fishermen. These roots are essentially plants that were frozen in the soil at the time when the mammoths were roaming the grasslands up above. But as this stuff thaws, this decomposes and greenhouse gases are emitted into the atmosphere, methane and CO2, and that warms up the planet further. The more permafrost degrades, the more buildings will end up looking like this. The Arctic's rusting Soviet infrastructure collapsing as the ground gives way expected to cost Russia 50 billion pounds, a quarter of the federal budget, by 2050. Yes, do you see? For a long time, Sergei Zimov was a lone voice on the dangers of permafrost thaw and the methane he noticed daily bubbling up from below ground. Methane grows so fast last year. It was most fast growth in all history. I feel it's because our permafrost starts to melt and any pond now produce methane and we have millions of ponds like this around my house. The Zimovs have a solution. Return the Arctic to how it was during the mammoth era. Bring back the millions of animals which used to roam here to scrape away and trample down the insulating layer of snow when they forage for food which counterintuitively traps in the heat and stops the cold from penetrating. It seems fanciful, not least because of the scale that it would require. Yes, you know, crazy scientists from Russia want to bring, what, millions of animals? Yeah, 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 tell me, Alistair. But if you have better solution, give me one. As we travel back, a distant Arctic wildfire turns the sun the color of Mars and lends a haze to the horizon. These fires now raging through Siberia send more carbon into the atmosphere and warm the permafrost further, a vicious feedback loop which compounds the crisis in our climate. Dynamagne Sky News in the Russian Arctic.